My name is Greg, I'm in the Bouncing Souls, and I sing. My name is Brian, I play bass in the Bouncing Souls. My name is Pete, and I play guitar in the Bouncing Souls. My name is George, and I play drums in the Bouncing Souls. One thing that we, we had growing up on the East Coast was um, all the New York hardcore bands were just r right in our backyard, pretty much. So we had all of that stuff. A lot of those bands didn't get off the East Coast, you know? Like, we grew up with bands like Token Entry, for example. Maybe they made it to California once, you know? But they were, reg they were like, a regular fixture at CBGB's. And yeah. So there was, a lot, there was, like, that New York stuff that we grew up with that yeah. might have had, you know, it, I think it definitely had an influence on our music. Yeah, like, we didn't listen to, like any of like California Epitaph like back then like before they had any East Coast bands at all like they never even like, heard those bands you know like we were in like our own world like, yeah. over here, you know? like although like in high school our favorite we bands have, were, were California bands like Dead Kennedys like Black Flag and and yeah, before the modern like the 80s Southern California stuff punk stuff definitely influenced us the Dead Kennedys yeah definitely but um, I, it's it's tough to really put your finger on too because you know Jersey f really does have like a rock and roll thing to it. Like with Bruce Springsteen, you can't not talk about Bruce Springsteen and then all the New York punk stuff that happened all in the same in the same place. So we yep. all we loved all that stuff. Yeah. And it's like obviously it was part of what was running in our veins. You know what I mean? So it's sort of unexplainable how it comes out of us too, but it does. In Trenton, New Jersey, there's a venue called City Gardens. Who, you know, if you look at the the sh sheets, the posters of all the shows they did, it was incredible who played there. Like, um, in one week, you know, during, Every band in the eighties, yeah. you know, it was like would come to City Gardens. It was like, like uh, part of the like a list would be like Green Day, The Ramones, Agnostic Front, Sick of It All, like all in the same week. At a young age, we had something to prove a little bit, for sure, you know, and just because as People kids, always, like, they, like, made fun of you being from New Jersey, you know? And yeah. Especially, so, like, yeah, when we went out on tour, we never heard the like, end of it, you know? It was you like, feel like you had, like, like kind of had something to prove. But then you think about all the timeless bands of music that c came out of here compared to, like, New York. I mean, yeah. It took a long time for us to, like, yeah. embrace that completely and be okay with it. And you know, well, that's how we, the we misfits wrote songs. from Jersey, you know? It's right. like the misfits we can't legends, not mention. You know? And then but songs like East Coast Fuck You were were born from that kind of like feeling that, that we that were was, yeah. like being like, No, like we we're, we're awesome, you know. Yeah, it was a reaction for sure to all that like ribbing we took, you know, on tour. And it's funny because people like punk kids early on and like, you know, this is like the early early nineties and we were out there touring, punk kids were like trying to make fun of us by using Brinks, like Bruce Springsteen like that was a bad thing and we were like no Bruce Springsteen like fuck you you know like are you kidding yeah you know? we just and I would just always be telling kids no it's not like born in the USA like listen to the first five records like listen to his early stuff it's it's, it's so much glory in there it's like some of the best songs ever written it's it's all rock and roll you know and anyway and it's like yeah. the attitude you know makes it punk I think punk rock is, is a little bit more stripped down to me than, than, let's say, for sure, metal. Those are like opposite ends of the rock and roll spectrum in a way, you know? There's like a lot of virtuosity being important in metal. Um, and in the most thing, simplistic you know? way, I think, with music like metal or jazz, to me, there's more sometimes for your brain to process. There's just a lot more busyness. And then with rock and roll or like a, a chord you know, three chord song with a simple beat, it's very, almost there's more space in it. And, and so it's like, it, it takes the, the energy from your head and it's less, it's not so much intellectually driven, you know, and it, it allows a lot more wide open room for music to come from the heart and to hit somebody right in the heart too, you know? Mm -hmm. You don't have to like, it's not like stimulating your intellect and whoa, you know, like, which I, I listen to music on that level too and can totally enjoy it on that level. 
Yeah, as far as like a, a, a former metalhead, I feel like uh, metal kind of lives in fantasy and punk lives in reality. Yeah, it's more like street level you know? uh, thinking, you know, I think. Yeah, that's fair. Uh, one's more direct. The other is fair. Yeah. yeah. I think that uh, you can express it, every emotion in in, uh, in the chords that we know, and it's like we we take a little ribbing there too. You know, people like Fat Mike are like, learn another chord. You know, we're like, no, this is, it's a beautiful language that can be that you can say anything in these four chords. Or you know, I'm exaggerating. We probably know more than four chords, but I'm not exaggerating that much. It's like six or seven. It's we use the same four chords a lot. We pretty much we do a lot of a lot of talking in four chords. I think the Ramones taught us the most out of all, I mean, out of all the influences that we have, I think that the Ramones taught us the most, and I think that that's why they're such an important band, you know? Anyone can sing. Everyone thinks they can't, and people who think they can't, I know they can't, because if you can talk, you can sing. You might not be awesome at it, or you know, some are better than others, but anyone can do it. Yeah, the bass is, is not too far behind that, actually. I mean, it's not too hard to learn to play bass. It's one of those things you can take a lifetime to master, a minute to learn kind of thing. But it's how you play it. It's not always what you play and how many notes you play and how many scales you know and everything else. It, you can pour so much emotion into, into how you play it, you know? Playing it hard has always been kind of my thing. It's all about, about like rhythm, you know? Like, uh, solid rhythm, you know? Like, like Bach Young is way more important in ACDC than Angus Young. He's the guy at the backbone. That's what guitar is all about. Yeah. Mm -hmm. You gotta do the work, man. Yeah. To, to me, it's like um, not being so arrogant to think that you're always right. To actually listen to somebody else. Like, say, take Pete, for example, sort of dabbles in drums, maybe not amazing at it, but like if he would come up to me and say, I'm thinking of this drum beat, and he'd play it all wacky, and I'd, I'd know <coughs> it's all wrong, but I'd try to at least figure out, like, okay, this guy's not a total pile. Like, what does he actually mean? <laughs> Don't think, like, oh, I'm just going to, you know, I got it, I got this. Like, listen to him and actually, you know. You can see, I can see the difference between bands that are kind of organically created, where each member brings something special to it, which is kind of hard to explain. Like, you know, everyone brings a bit of songwriting and then their style with their instruments. But there's, you know, as they say, there's chemistry in there. And you can see the bands that have that, and then they're, that don't. And you know, for for better for worse, you know, we have that. It's obvious, and that's what it makes us interesting. There's a there's a dynamic that's special because it's those just those people in that band that makes that. You take one of those elements out, and it really changes.